You recognize this one, Ben? This is the one you found in your yard. This tip here is one of the first titanium tips that Jason made. It doesn't have O-rings on it because the idea is that we're going to put the O-rings in the wood stem and slip this over it. It didn't work out very good. So this one had provisions for O-rings, but the grooves weren't quite deep enough. This is kind of a real pain. Uh, Jason made this on the South Bend lathe. Notice these don't have any helical grooves. It's only got two O-rings in it. And one of the coolest things is there's not actually a screen in here. This tip was just machined very carefully from the tip end as well as from the stem end. And we left just a very, very thin membrane of titanium that I used a, a little punching tool that was seven finishing nails that were brazed together. And I'd put it in a press and just give it a little pop with a press to puncture those seven holes through that titanium membrane. So this tip was just all made out of one solid piece of titanium. And uh, when we finally went into production, the tips looked pretty similar. Uh, looked like this. Got the little helical grooves on them, three of them and we used a ceramic screen held in with a little clip. The first production tips actually looked like this. So they only had five fins. Uh, they had room for three O-rings. And when we hold it next to what ended up becoming more or less the staple for the balance of the, that time frame until we uh, changed over to making our own tips is the seven fin ones. And, and you can kind of see that uh, there's quite a difference in, in size, right? With these original five fin tips, we sold them with a wood stem like this, right? Original uh, Ty Woody, Ed's TNT on there. Those are all sold on pre-order in the fall of uh, 2015. If you just twist your tip just a little bit or if it got real dry and you try and put it back together, the wood would crack and split just ridiculously easily. And they were cracking and that's where the crowns came from. But the crowns came later, but that's another story. This is where the tip changed height a little bit, and I added another groove for an O-ring. This one might be missing it, but uh, there's another groove here for an O-ring, so increase the number of O-rings. These tips are from early 2016. All the way through uh, late 2016, we were making this style of seven-fin tip. So these are just two of those original run seven fin tips. One's polished up and the other one's not. Then when we got our first CNC machine, real chunky fins, and the helix went the other direction for whatever reason, that's just how it ended up being. So still a seven fin tip, but this was the first one that we made in house on our own CNC machines. Eventually, we ended up opening up, I think some of the, uh, the fin geometry, you can see that there's a little bit more spacing between the fins on this one versus this one. When we got our next CNC machine, which I refer to as uh, our first real CNC machine that I was actually capable of removing material a little bit faster, then the tip changed to this one. And the helix switched back to the same direction as what the originals were. The spacing remained a little bit larger. The overall precision certainly went up a, a couple notches. December of 2016 to January of uh, 2017, all the way up until sometime uh, in 2017 where we decided to start making this tip, the uh, five fin titanium tip. I don't know if I even have the non-chunky titanium tips in here like we're currently manufacturing. Yeah, here's one. Kind of fun one. So what were the performance differences? So you can just kind of see that one. It's kind of fun, it's green. Performance differences, well, you know, changing the length, changing the heat transference, changing the mass, changing the airflow, they all perform a little bit differently depending on how you heat them, uh, how, how, how long they stay hot, how fast they heat up. And you know, it's not like any one of them is better than the other. They all work. Some of them are just a little bit easier to use than others. And you know, that's just one of those things, and anyone's had one of our products for a while, as they get a little bit accustomed to it, they learn the nuance and are then capable of getting the kind of performance that they're really seeking out of the device. Just like a paintbrush to a skilled artist, 
a light stroke, a heavy stroke, a wide stroke, a thin stroke. They understand the nuance of how to operate their instrument. And our devices, in my opinion, are no different. So what's next for the tip? Oh, that's some good stuff. <laughs>